So this is street plate method using the quadrant pattern. So I'm going to draw this pattern on my plate to create four sections or quadrants. And I draw on the bottom of the plate because that's where the food is, that's where the bacteria is going to grow. So I'm going to draw a line across the top on one side and on the other side. Almost looks like a hockey goal, goal post. Along the edge I'm going to write my name, the class time, the date, the temperature, which is going to be 25 degrees Celsius for this one. And what am I forgetting? Oh, it's a mixed culture, so it's more than one bacteria in here. I'm going to flip it over, decide which way I'm going to go. Probably going to start here, just like in the diagram. One, two, three, and then four. I'm, that's the direction I like to go in. You can go in the opposite direction. just got to figure out what you want to do. So I'm going to put a star in my number one quadrant, which is next to my name so that I know that's where I'm starting. So I'm going to put that at the top here so that I can easily angle. Pick up my loop, hold it between thumb and index finger, and rest it on my middle finger. Flame until it's completely orange the entire loop in the hottest part of the flame, all the way to the handle. Give it a second to cool, although this is a broth culture, so the broth will cool it itself. I'm going to grab the cap with my pinky finger, hold the tube at an angle, prevent airborne contamination, flaming the mouth, going in, picking up bacteria, trying not to touch the sides, flame, cap, done. Never touch this again. Go to my plate. This plate, you can see through the lid. You would pick the lid up and go into that area, but for video purposes, so you can see my coloring, I'm going to remove the lid, which you would not do because now bacteria from me talking and from the air is going to fall onto this plate. It's probably going to get contaminated. I'm going to move it away. I'm going to color from the top of the plate all the way down to that line. Invisible coloring, right? You want to cover all the surface light touch with your loop. You don't want your loop bent like this. You'll cut into the arger. If you're cutting into the arger, right, that's not good. Okay. So now I'm going to cap, put my lid back on. I'm going to flame my loop. The purpose of this is to kill all the bacteria on this loop. Again, don't go back to the culture. This technique is to spread the bacteria out on the surface of the arger so that hopefully they're all by themselves when they grow. So now I did at the top of this plate, so now I'm going to turn it so that now I'm going to go to the top of this section. And as I go from the top over, you'll see I'm crossing over to this little section right here from the first section. So I'm picking up bacteria when I do that. I want to stay in that section. Pick up my loop, cover it, flame. I'm killing all the bacteria. So the only bacteria I'm going to pick up are ones that have already spread on my plate because I just killed any on my loop. Turn my plate again. Right? And if, you're, if you haven't waited a second, you want to test your loop, you can just touch on the media, right? And it'll singe and it'll cool it. I'm going to go into the third section here. Notice crossing over in this little section here, picking up from the second section back to here, spreading over the whole area. Flaming, killing all the bacteria. Now this one, instead of dragging my loop across, I'm going to start at the top here, and I'm just going to draw lines across from section three into four, all the way down the surface of the plate. So hopefully I'm picking up the least amount of bacteria. So that hopefully the plate later, and of course flaming my loop, because I don't want to set this down on my bench top and contaminate. So bacteria gone.
done. We'll put this in the incubator, flipped over so any condensation on the lid doesn't land on the plate and spread the bacteria through the movement of water. Later on, hopefully we'll have colonies, little circles. I don't know if you can see those. Is it better on the black of this? Black. Right. This is in streak plate. This is just spread out bacteria, but you can see there's little circles on here. Hopefully ours will be more spread out. Those little circles would be isolated colonies. If they arose from just a single bacteria or two bacteria of the same species, it's what we call a pure culture. Um, and, and that's what we're trying to obtain here. We're trying to separate the mix out. So we have two bacteria, so hopefully we'll end up with two slightly different looking colonies. Um, for the two different bacteria that are in this sample. Put it in the incubator and we'll find out next time.